Hello year 7, welcome to your art lesson this week. Today we're going to be uh, completing a drawing task using a pen, pencil and rubber. So by the end of the lesson today you're going to be have you're going to have a detailed animal drawing showing proportion, tone, texture on A4 paper. For a grade 1 to 2 minus we, you're going to be able to demonstrate an understanding of tone going from light and dark and texture to create an animal drawing. The challenge for a grade 2 plus examine your chosen image to produce a textured and well proportioned animal design. Our intent for the lesson is becoming more confident in all aspects of art and design by using different materials such as watercolours, oil pastels, colouring pencils and obviously today uh, pen and pencil. So here I'm going to start off with the eye. Um, it's a, always a good place to start right? and you can see that I'm just going to start out drawing out the proportions of the frog um, that I have here. Uh, just paying close attention to detail that I just get my shapes right. I'm pressing quite lightly with my pencil um, so that if I do make mistakes and when I do make mistakes I can correct them as I go along. Now depending on what kind of animal or insect that you're drawing today uh, will depend on where about whereabouts you start uh, and what orientation, which way you have your paper, whether you have it landscape or portrait. Um, always just uh, draw out the basic shapes, uh, kind of get it in proportion as best you can. Uh, you can see here uh, I've now finished my pencil drawing and hopefully in a few minutes I'll be able to um, start applying some pen. So I've started uh, to apply pen to the eye. I've left the highlights uh, white uh, so it captures that reflection. And you can see I'm just looking at the thickness of the lines, um, pressing down quite firmly. And to create tone in this drawing, I'm pressing down and creating lots of dots with my pen so that the closer the dots they are the darker it looks and the further apart they are the lighter it looks and I'm able to create tone with this. Now you can try this technique in your own drawing or you might want to um, continue to experiment with um, adding cross hatching. Um, uh, creating light and dark tone uh, with obviously with your lines close together to create darker tones and moving further apart to create lighter ones. As I'm completing this drawing, I'm constantly looking at the picture that I'm copying. I haven't just looked at it once, I, I, I look at it, I. Uh, add some more dots and more tone. I look at it again and keep on going back and forth um, from my drawing to the picture so that I can re recreate it as accurate, accurately as possible.
So just when you're finishing the touches to this now, uh, when you've done your drawing, um, make sure that you send it to your teacher back on your assignment uh, so they can see the amazing work that you have done. Um, thank you very much and we'll be seeing you again.